Mm. He knows. Uh, for such an unbelievably smart individual and as rich and powerful as he is, I look at these topics that we're into, cataclysms, Younger Dryas, uh, lost ancient technology. Magnetic poles. That's oh, yeah. the one thing. That's, That's I would like to dive one. into that. Um, yeah. I, he, I watched a video on that this morning. The, the Adam and Eve video. Oh, oh yeah. The that, Chan Thomas thing. Jesus Christ. That's an interesting one. And is I that... Find, how, how much of that is uh, agreed upon? That there could be a the magnetic poles actually shift. So yeah. this is science. It, they say that the last one was like seven hundred and seventy-eight thousand years ago, and we're more we're like something like two hundred thousand years overdue. Um, <gasps> but the Adam and Eve story, the theory of that is that these it happens in cycles of sixty-five hundred years, and that it's a ninety-degree flip, but six days later, or on the seventh day, it corrects itself. Like the and planet a, flips, not it, just it, the... it, that. Correct. It's a it's a planet flip ninety degree. And that because of it, the Earth essentially does a standstill. The sun will be direct, will basically stay in the same spot, causing heating like we've never experienced. And that the wind and the waters continue with their momentum. Because essentially, the wind travels at approximately 1,000 miles an hour at the equator. So the theory is that when that event happens, it's going to be cataclysmic. And here's the wild thing is that in that document, it says uh, a continental-sized tsunami being two miles high. Well, I showed you the Emikusi volcano in Africa, in the Sahara, which is at 11,300 feet, that has salt as well as evidence of gastropods, sea life. That's two miles high. Yes. And I'm like, it's just, it would make a lot of sense. Like, if you look at the Bible and involving, like, revelations and it's saying, like, six uh, days. Six days on the seventh day, yeah. God rested. In that document, it says six days, things start uh, simmering down a bit, and, the se you know, by day seven, things are st starting over new. So what's the science behind this complete reversal of the magnetic pole? So real quick, this is the, I, I, the part that sets me off about this is that any article you ever read on this, it makes it crystal clear that this will not be apocalyptic. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some, no, we'll potentially have some satellite communication issues that could affect our power grid and telecommunication systems, and that's going to be unfortunate. But don't worry, it's not a doomsday. I'm like, okay, first of all, if the grid goes down, that is doomsday. But number two, they don't know what they're talking about because they claim that the geo geomagnetic pole shift is because of the interior, whether it's the iron core or whatever it is, the molten core, does a shift, and because of it, that's why the, the compass will flip. But I'm like, if you look at the nature of earthquakes, they some originate in the crust, others originate in the mantle, in the in the parts that are that aren't solid. So I'm like, if you're saying that the interior that is molten does a shift, why on earth would you suggest that it wouldn't cause earthquakes or volcanic activity on the surface? So I feel like the I, every article I ever read on geomagnetic pole shifts, they go out of their way to say, "Don't worry, it's fine." And I'm like, but yet. The evidence shows that it's accelerating. Back in just the 1990s, uh, it was traveling the pole. The North Pole was transitioning at 10 miles a year. Now it's at 40 year, or almost 40 miles. It's accelerating. And then Adam and Eve story, it talks about, actually, no, not the Adam and Eve story. There was a documentary on Nova years ago that the evidence shows that when they've studied all their other volcanic rock uh, for prior known pole shifts, because keep in mind, there's hundreds that are known. This has happened throughout millions and millions of years. This is mainstream science. The poles do flip. They, they, but it's not that the Earth flips over; it's that the inside core does, and so your magnetic compass will flip. Like what causes it? Uh, so the whatever that molten core is, it does a shift inside. It allegedly happens in cycles, um, and we're long overdue. And when it happens, the other theory is that the the Earth's shields will be diminished.